All right, welcome back to Area Diesel Service. So, a little bit different style video for you today. Behind the scenes in my office, we're going to talk about some industry news in the diesel fuel injection world. Recent revelation, I think it was February 16th, long-standing partner Stanadyne announces uh, the filing of a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Stanadyne is probably one of our longest standing partners. This is kind of where it all started at Area Diesel Service, servicing Stanadyne or Rusa Master injection pumps. This is where we cut our teeth. Stanadyne, uh, if you don't know, you can jump on their website. We'll leave you a link here. This is kind of their history. They are a pretty long established organization, more than 140 years, it says. Founded in 1876, it was originally the Hartford Machine Screw Company. Uh, they went on through several evolutions of names and focuses, but it says somewhere in the post-World War II era, Vernon Rusa joined with his design concept for uh, what turned to be the rotary injection pump. They went on and changed their name to Stanadyne in 1970. Area Diesel Service was founded in 1973. And shortly thereafter, we became Stanadyne authorized as they started to develop their network and aftermarket and service organizations. It's been a long time. We've been working on, on Stanadyne and Rusa Master pumps since the beginning. And today it is still the majority of the pump shop service work is probably in the Stanadyne pump world. So a lot of them out there, a lot of them still in operation. I'm certainly not a bankruptcy specialist. If you want to know more of the details, go Google it, I suppose. And it'll turn up lots of different results speaking about the case and what it means. Uh, again, I'm not here to speculate on why they've done it or if they should have done it. I don't know anything about it. Chapter 11, as I understand it, is kind of a debt reorganization maneuver, a financial mover for executives to worry about and execute. If you know what, what this really means uh, le legally, drop us a comment. Let us know your thoughts there, but not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the impacts of this bankruptcy on area diesel service and our operations. So what do we know? Uh, we did have our rep here about a week ago. This was one of the topics of discussion uh, for that meeting amongst other things, but this was a pretty big portion of it. And they pretty well reiterated that this was a debt restructuring. They're not closing the doors. They're not shutting down. They're not laying off. There is no immediate signs or concerns of availability issues or a, a closing or anything to that extreme. One of the questions that, that we had received from several people in a recent YouTube video was about part availability with the Stanadyne bankruptcy announcement. So far, not an issue. We've been advised that that's not going to be the case. Again, it's business as usual. There are some part availability issues, but I think we're still kind of experiencing that with everyone in the post-COVID era. Uh, it has greatly improved, but there are still pockets of issues, but there's always been uh, pockets of issues. You, you get three, three items cured and back in stock, and then there's three more that pop up. So it's just kind of nature of the beast. When you're manufacturing and distributing thousands of intricate little parts, some of them get scarce from time to time. It happens as a whole. Availability is, is good, right? Nothing to be concerned about. Where there are issues, we tend to have solutions to, to work around. Not concerned about part availability and really not concerned at this point about the long-standing future of the relationship. Again, we can only go off of what we have been advised. What we've been advised is that it's business as usual. Parts are going to continue to flow. Data is going to continue to be available. Information and test plans, bill of materials, no issues there. So the proof shall be in the pudding when all this fizzles out. For now, it is business as usual. That's what we know. That's all we know. Again, not a topic we're necessarily qualified to comment on, but something that could potentially impact our operations and something that several of you have been commenting and asking about. So that's all we know for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can call us at 800-637-2658. 
You can drop us an email at parts at areadiesel.com or you can jump on our website at areadieselservice.com. So that's it. Thanks for watching.